and having our own studio and our own little foundry, we are almost a one-stop shop and still learning every day, which is the magical thing about sculpture and art. Hi guys, uh, just to talk a little bit about the family and myself. I've spent 30 years in this business of sculpture and art, painting, so I haven't had that luxury of being in an art school. So I've come a long process to get to this point and still learning every day, which is the magical thing about sculpture and art and developing yourself. But where we've gone through and where we've traveled around the world doing different things and working with some amazing people. You know, I've been with Attenborough, sculpted at Buckingham Palace, there's many other things. So going back to what we are, yeah, we're a sculpting family. We're selling all over the world, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, you have to pinch yourself sometimes, it's very humbling. Um, and being a working class lad, I think that really matters. So we're really lucky. So the things we've done with the traveling, I've traveled backpacked around the world, seeing the wildlife in its natural habitat, which got me great reference, thousands of images. Where we're going now with what we're producing as art is telling that story. And each, each piece of art tells a story and that's its magic. And I think that's nice that people connect with the art where it's a wildlife piece, it's the eyes, it's the cat, the movement, whatever you're producing for all artists. And I think that's our job almost to get that sort of energy over to people. But as you guys start to watch more of it, we'll explain how we got to this point, how the journey and the trip started and how we enjoyed that trip and journey as a family and watching my kids get into art when they were younger and where they are with their own art now, selling in galleries and Ben being a great foundryman and a great, great engineer, to be fair. You know, now my son's working, I mean, Roxy's working, and she wanted to have a go at the arts and see what she could do. And now she's very successful already. She's doing really well in the galleries. She then creates the mold, she makes molds. She's really a massive part of what we do. And so there's a great energy here between the three of us. And all coats, there's uh, also mum in the background doing all the cooking and kitchen machine working. So <laughs> we've got quite a little family business going really. It's great for me to be able to sort of step back a little bit and they're starting to teach me, as they say, the pupil becomes the master. Uh, and those guys are definitely doing this job really well. There's so much going on that we want to teach you guys and how we talk about that. But going back to where we've come with our foundry, our own studio, People have often asked me why I started to do this. In the past, when I was getting my work cast at other foundries, I wasn't getting the result. I, I lost the feeling for my work. I created a piece of work that I thought I had movement and life in, went to the foundries, and I just weren't getting that. So that's why I started casting my own work. And then we built on that. So I wanted to understand not only the sculpture what I was creating, but how to finish it, how to put it together. And I think that just in me is wanting to know everything about what I was creating and the industry or the arts in which I'm working in. You know, building it and having our own studio and our own little foundry really means something. We're in full control of what we create. We are almost a one-stop shop. We are doing things for other artists we've been helping, which is great now. We have that knowledge we can help other artists. So that's what we're here for, to help other people as well as ourselves now. But building this over the years and creating all our own work and building that collection of work but I've been in Royal Academy and sold work. So we've sold all over the world now. We've got now big public works out, starting at Wembley and around the country. And we've got other ones earmarked for the future, which is massive. So people and communities can enjoy that. And it belongs, that sort of sculpture belongs to the communities and the city and towns they're in. It's really cool, the, the sides of the, doing the public work, because you want to do a good job for the communities and the people in that community. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and we'll see you soon.